Walmart is a miss on earnings and $1.30 a share, lowering their outlook while Home Depot actually raised its outlook and had its highest revenue ever for the quarter. Walmart shares down six and a quarter while Home Depot shares are up three and a third percent. How do you uh, yeah. ha how do you look at this quarter? Well, I think, you know, Cheryl just kind of hit the nail on the head. I mean, a lot of Walmart's uh, growth is driven by e-commerce when we were locked down. And, you know, I, I like to use this Bob Dylan quote a lot. You don't need a weatherman to know which way the wind blows. And if, you know, if you're leaving your home now, you see people are out and about, right? And Home Depot is a perfect example of that where you're going to the store. Um, people are renovating their homes because we're right now, you know, we have a tremendous housing boom going on. So, you know, I think it's not surprising. And you can see markets are still up huge this morning because we anticipate retail sales today are going to be magnificent. And that's what I've been saying, regardless of the fact that we're four decade high in inflation, Maria. You know, my belief has been all the strategists are going to discount how powerful the U.S. consumer is. And I think that's what you're going to see today, more evidence of that when retail sales come out. And again, like you don't need to be, uh, you know, you don't have to be on Wall Street to figure that out. Just walk outside and you can see it. And I'd also just mention right now, we've seen a dramatic repricing in stock prices um, already over the course of the last couple of months. The S&P 500 now trades at 17 times forward earnings, which historically is not that expensive. And, you know, on top of that, you've got like one of the greatest investors of all time, Warren Buffett, buying more stock than he has in like a decade over the last quarter. So I just think that you've got a tremendous buying opportunity right now. The consumer's in great shape. We're probably not going to recession. It's time to be very bullish. Shocking, I know. Yeah, Walmart is down right now 6%, uh, Ryan, and Home Depot is up 3%. What you're looking at here, these charts are yesterday's close. But let's show the pre-market so that we know what's going on right now, because Walmart's down 6%. Uh, we're standing by for the retail sales number at 8.30. Ryan, you say it's going to be uh, spectacular. It's expected to show a gain of nine-tenths of a percent, uh, despite the 40-year inflation. So I guess uh, we get, let me get your take overall on, on where we are in, in terms of uh, inflation cutting into the ability to spend. Ryan, do you not see that as an issue, given the fact that we are seeing 40-year high inflation? And some are worried about demand destruction this year. Yeah, and I think that's the wrong bet, because the bottom line is, look, this is America. Um, and America is all about, capitalism is all about filling a need. It's all about supply and demand. And we know we've had a huge imbalance. And no one's better than Americans in fixing those imbalances. And, you know, a good example of that would be, think about the masks. At the beginning of the pandemic, you couldn't find a mask. Within two months, you know, you couldn't go in a store without, like, boxes of masks. So I think, you know, supply chains are going to get fixed over the course of the next couple of months. You know, China's going to come out of lockdown. So inflation's going to start to come down. You know, we already have the consumer strong with inflation at these highs. What happens as inflation comes down? And who says that the Fed can't pivot and become more dovish? So I just think all the negative news has been priced in for four and a half months now. Your bigger concern here is surprises in the positive, not to mention the U.S. U.S. Uh, investors have more money sitting in cash than they have since, like, September of last year. So you could seriously see a melt-up here, Maria. I think that's your biggest risk. Well, Warren Buffett made some big moves in an SEC filing uh, released yesterday. Uh, he's uh, betting $2.9 billion on Citigroup. Uh, that is certainly a mover this morning. One of the other stocks that's lifting the Dow Industrials, they, the Berkshire uh, filing cut many of the bank holdings in the midst of the pandemic, Ryan, but they bought Citigroup. They also bought Paramount big time as well. Citigroup's shares are up at five and a quarter percent. Paramount also up big on this filing for Berkshire Hathaway. Uh, as you can see, it's one of the big movers. Uh, what do you make of this buy from Berkshire? I think these are very, very inflationary buys, right? If you look at when you have inflation, financials do well. They did big, big buys in energy, right? You had Occidental. Uh, you had more buys of Chevron. These are all companies that have pricing power, which I think, you know, look, again, we know inflation is going to be higher than it's been the last decade. Warren Buffett, be greedy when others are fearful, is like the perfect adage right now. He's picking up shares of companies that have great dividends, great valuations, that have great pricing power. This is what you should be doing with your money right now. Um, Warren Buffett's buying because he knows that you need to get a return on your money. You can't sit in cash, Maria. This is just like textbook uh, right now, buy right now while, uh, you know, essentially uh, the negativity is in the air.